In the Kitchen with Kathleen, where Kathleen is teaching me everything that there is to know about being in the kitchen. Today's video, I am excited about this one because this is an appliance that Kathleen doesn't have yet, and I am trying to get her to get one. I think after today, she's going to love it, and I can't wait to use it. A couple months ago, I picked up an Instapot at Walmart, and I would say that it's a cross between a crock pot and a pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. I had seen them on the internet all over the place and it piqued my curiosity because some of the recipes that I saw and meal ideas really were like quick and easy and took half the time to make. Mm -hmm. And that is something that I'm in need of are those quick, easy, fast to do meals. Mm -hmm. And so over the last two months I have used this Instapot. There are times where I am just scouring to look for a recipe to do in the Instapot because I love it so much. I tell you, you can bake a baked potato in this thing in eight minutes. Wow. That is how awesome it is. Today, I asked Kathleen if she could come up with a good Instapot recipe to make in here for you guys so you can see how awesome it is and I want her to see how awesome it is as well. So what do we got going on in the Instapot today? We're gonna do a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. <sighs> And I love Philly cheesesteak, so this sounds like it's going to be delicious. And I'm excited because when I started cooking, say 47 years ago, um, I used to use the old pressure cookers. Okay. And you, you know, put it on the fire and you had the little steam vent that would rock back and forth. Right. And you had to like open it a certain way. and. So this is like supposed to be not scary, easy to use. So I'm excited. There is really no fuss or muss with this. It is easy to do and takes nothing to work it. So let's jump into this and let's make some Philly cheesesteak sandwiches for dinner tonight. Awesome. We have two packages of eye of round steak and you want that thinly sliced. We have one yellow onion, one packet of zesty Italian salad dressing, Whatever brand you want to use is just fine. An eight ounce package of provolone sliced cheese. You need a package of deli rolls, hoagie rolls, any kind of roll that you'd like. Whatever you choose is going to be great. Minced garlic. If you're going to use fresh, use as much as you like. It can, you could go anywhere from two cloves up to 10. Just peel it, mince it, or Quick and easy, buy the pre-minced garlic. Last but not least, we need a bouillon cube and a cup of water. If you happen to have beef broth in your refrigerator, you can use that. You could even use a nice vegetable broth. We've got our onion that we're gonna make into slices. Now, the recipe also calls for sliced green pepper. But Kelly and her family happen not to like green pepper. So guess what? It's not going in. That's the nice thing about cooking for yourself. We're gonna take our sliced onion and drop it into the bottom of our crock pot. We're gonna put in a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna put in a teaspoon of black pepper. I have our package of a zesty Italian salad dressing. I have our minced garlic and remember you can do it to your taste so I'll put in a good, uh, good two tablespoons. I have the cup of water with the bouillon cube dissolved in there. To dissolve the bouillon cube, what we did was we took our cup of water, put it in the microwave for two minutes, heat it up, drop the bouillon cube in there, let it sit for five minutes and it'll start to dissolve. You can just take a spoon then, stir it up, and you're good to go. 
We have our thinly sliced eye of round that we're gonna just dump into the pot. So we have everything in our Instant Pot. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kinda of give it a toss, just to bring all the flavors into the meat. So while the meat's cooking, it's gonna absorb the onion and the bouillon and all the seasonings. Now we're gonna cook this for 40 minutes. What's great about this, it's kind of like just a, a dump and go. You, you can see, if you wanted to do this in the slow cooker rather than the Instant Pot, you could put this together in the morning in 10 minutes flat. On the slow cooker, let it go for six, eight hours on low. By the time you get home, you'll have dinner. This is great for hoagie bowls. That's what we're gonna do it, the uh, Philadelphia cheese sandwich. But if you wanted to kick it up and you wanted to make a side of mashed potatoes with it, or noodles, or rice. Trust me, it's going to be awesome. It's closed. It's on vent right now, so we're going to take it and put it on seal. Now I'm going to press manual, and I'm going to pick my time. Set our time and what it does is it takes a few seconds and it's going to lock it and it's going to tell you it's on and it'll be maybe four or five minutes till it comes up to pressure. Our Philadelphia cheesesteak is finished. Go to the top of the pot that's the pressure valve. It's on sealed right now, and I'm gonna move it over to venting. And you just do that by, whoo, scared me. There we go. Now you gotta be careful, otherwise you're gonna get a really good facial from it. <laughs> and you don't want that, trust me. Oh, and you can already hear the steam is starting to slow down. So it's releasing the pressure. That's a really safe way to do it. 40 years ago and more, that's not the way. You could open it and that's when you would have your dinner on the ceiling of the kitchen and you would be scalded, but that can't happen with this. Love, love, love. I can't speak enough about this, guys. And I will tell you that I have the medium sized one. I picked this one up from Walmart and I believe I paid $69 for it. There was one that was a bit smaller than this one and there was one that was much bigger than this one. And so I've got a family of five and this medium Instant Pot works perfect for our family. Now I'm gonna open it. You're gonna put your hand right here. We're gonna open it. Oh baby. Oh yeah. my word, does that look amazing. Doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at, look how tender it is. I went to pick up a piece and it just fell apart. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Kathleen, and how easy was that in under 40 minutes? It took us less than 10 minutes to put it together. Less than 10 minutes. And I have to say, all of the juice in the bottom of the pot would not go to waste. I would put it in little bowls to serve alongside the sandwiches so you could do like a French dip. Mmm, like an au jus. Yes, exactly. Another option. Oh, yeah. Now we're ready to make our sandwich. So we've got our hoagie roll. I always like to take a little piece out. It gives you more of a place to put all that good meat. Kelly likes her sandwiches with a little mayonnaise, which is absolutely fine. 
Is that enough, Cal? Yes, please. I'm gonna take the roll, and I made kind of a little boat for it to sit in. Jelly. Mm -mm. oh. mm -mm. <laughs> How's that? Perfect. We've got our provolone cheese that we're just gonna lay on top. Now we're gonna take it over to the oven and we're just gonna slip it under the broiler and we're gonna watch it. We're not gonna walk away from it. We're gonna watch it and the cheese is gonna get all nice and gooey, ooey and melted. And we're gonna keep a watch on it because we do not want this bad boy to burn. This literally only took about 45 seconds. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Oh my word, look at that. Yum. The cheese is all melted and the bread is Soft on the sides, but nice and toasted on the top. Our Philly cheese steak sandwiches are done, and because of the smell, the whole family has gravitated to this kitchen. So we are going to try these Philly cheese steak sandwiches and see how good they taste. Okay, Allie, try it. Good. Allie, do you love it? <laughs> I, I, I taste the garlic in it. Yeah. Oh, yummy. Okay. Is it a meat you want to eat again? Nice. I think she Whoa. likes it. She went for the bigger piece. Mm -hmm. This is the bomb. What a turkey. Oh, what did you say? This is the bomb. This is the bomb. The bomb. Good. Do you love it, Kayla? It's good. It's good? Okay, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> oh my word. Amazing. And it is delicious. It is seasoned perfectly. I gotta admit, I was a little bit worried about that Italian seasoning mm -hmm. packet because I thought it was gonna give it a zesty, tangy taste mm -hmm. and take away from that official, original Philly cheesesteak, you know, taste that you get. Absolutely not. You can taste garlic in it, you taste the beef. It is absolutely amazing. I love this. I think Kayla likes it too. I know Allie does. Her plate is almost gone. I know, I love it. Well everybody, that's all we have for you for today for our Instapot Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. I think I sold her on the Instapot. I'm getting one. I love, I'm telling you, they are amazing. And I tell you, it has found a home on my countertop for good. Yeah. Because I use it so yeah. much. Yeah. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more In the Kitchen with Kathleen to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when we're uploading a new video. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, thank you again, Kathleen. Oh, I always okay. enjoy our time in the kitchen. Thank you. Oh, Allie wants in on the action. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to mine. I post videos every week. Until next time, everybody, have a fantastic day. Happy cooking in your kitchen. And bye for now, everybody. Bye. As I used to say on my channel, unicorn kisses to you all. Aww. That was fun. <laughs> Action! <laughs> I'm good. Okay, good. Allie, are you good? You have me sitting right next to the light, and I look super white right now. <laughs> and why would you do that Kale's to me? Pale. <laughs> I look white. Look at the difference between me and Allie and you. Okay, let's all just look, look at the camera. Ready? Oh, I'm looking. You ready? Okay, stay looking at the camera, Allie. Put your hands down. Okay. No. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube. Click Sorry. the bell. <laughs> it does matter.
magical things. You have to find out what it does. <laughs> See? I like that. Click uh, it to find out what the magical